from owning over 20 animals to exactly how she makes over 10 years on the same television series work. These are some secrets fans never knew about Amber Marshall. Born in 1988 in the small town of London, Ontario in Canada, Amber's life has been anything but small. As a child, Amber almost immediately showed interest in acting, and as soon as she could walk, apparently she could ride horses as well. Amber has even been quoted to say that the two things she loves most in life are acting and horses. This would later come in handy when, as a teenager, Amber became a veterinarian's assistant. While Amber loved and still loves animals to this day, she made sure to give her other passion of acting some time in the spotlight. Enrolling in the well-known Lester B. Pearson Performing High School of the Arts, Amber's talent began to flourish from the early age of 11. It wasn't long after, in the year 2000, Amber made her first acting debut on screen in a television series called Super Rupert. The following year, Amber landed roles in four more projects, Twice in a Lifetime, Dark Oracle, Doc, and The Christmas Shoes. All of these projects were preparing Amber for her penultimate role, the role of Elizabeth Smart in The Elizabeth Smart Story. The Elizabeth Smart Story was a film based on the true story of Elizabeth Smart, a Utah teenager kidnapped in 2002 and held captive for nine months until ultimately being rescued. This role landed Amber a nomination for a Young Artist Award for Best Performance in a TV Movie, Miniseries, or Special. Although Amber did not ultimately win this award, it was the role of a lifetime that came next, which was reward enough. In 2007, Amber landed her biggest and longest-lasting role of her entire career, the role that has kept Amber comfortable with taking on very few on-screen credits after it, the role of Amy Fleming in the CBC-produced series Heartland. Heartland is a television series that was adapted from a hefty 25-book series by the author Lauren Brook. Heartland, the television series, as of 2023, is on to its 16th season and shows no signs of slowing down. Lucky for Amber, the series revolves around Amy Fleming, a farm girl who lives on a ranch named Heartland outside of the fictional town of Hudson, Alberta. Amy spends her time on her family's horse ranch, healing animals, and taking on day-to-day -day life and family dynamics. On the ranch, Amy lives with her older sister Louise, or Lou Fleming, her dad Tim, her grandpa Jack, and their hired farmhand Ty. The series follows Amy and the rest of the Fleming gang as they make the most of life as it ebbs and flows, always ready to tackle what's next. As the series progressed, Amy got to get pretty close to her co-star, Graham Wardle, who she spent 221 of 243 episodes becoming romantically involved with. Graham plays the role of Ty, the farmhand, who begins to fall for Amber. Life happens as it does, and the two, after some ups and downs, eventually get hitched. More ups and downs occur until the couple welcome their first and only biological child into the world, eventually adopting a foster child. Not long after bringing in a second child to their family, Family, Ty's death rocked fans, leaving Amy as a single mother and loyal watchers mourning for her loss. After so many shared simulated life experiences together, one would expect Amber and Graham to have become incredibly close, and that they did. Mind you, these two actors had a lot riding on their on-screen romance. It's not often you get to see long-running romance or even long-running TV shows made by Canadians for Canadians. So how did the pair of actors manage to keep their professional relationship alive and well? It comes down to respect. Any relationship, professional or not, needs a level of respect and appreciation for each other, Amber said. Amber followed up with, it's always been about making this wonderful project together. It's not about one individual. Let's work together. And work together, Amber and Graham did, for over a dozen whole seasons. At the basis of their relationship is one shared core tenet, Amber and Graham's desire to continue providing quality content to their homegrown Canadian fans. We just want to make great television, Graham said. Amber agreed, saying, When we come shoot a scene, it's not, how does a scene make my character look better? Amber quickly followed up with, It's how do we tell this story in a way that is authentic and can make people connect with that sense of a family unit being loving and supporting. So, what does Amber do when she's not on set, being Canada's television darling? Well, she's living on a ranch in Calgary, Alberta, Alberta, not too far from where Heartland is filmed in High River, Alberta, with her husband Sean Turner. Amber and Sean met at a horse show in 2010 that Sean, a professional photographer with a flair for Western-inspired aesthetics, was shooting. Not long after, the two were married in 2013, 
in an appropriately Western-inspired wedding, complete with the bride riding a horse down the aisle to the groom. Talk about keeping in character. But aside from Amber's ranch in southern Alberta, the similarities don't stop there. Amber is an animal lover, big time. She owns over 20 animals, consisting of horses, ducks, cats, bunnies, cows, chickens, alpacas, and bulls. All of these animals are definitely enough to keep a woman busy, especially one that is also a full-time actress. So, does Amber plan to make time for kids? Well, between keeping her ranch running both on and off screen, she hasn't had the time quite yet. That doesn't mean it's not on her mind. I would love to have children. Right now, I have a very busy life, but my fans are hungry for me to have kids, Amber said back in 2017. Amber is always thinking of her fans, another reason she's Canada's cowgirl darling. Amber has built an enduring, strong, and loving relationship with her fans, similar in the way she has with her castmates of nearly two decades. Amber's made certain to keep fans as happy and informed as she can, consistently posting updates while filming on her social media accounts. Amber doesn't stop reaching out to fans on social media, though. Amber plans events across Canada to be able to meet fans, answer their questions, sign their memorabilia, take photos with them, and ensure they know they're appreciated. Now that is quite the testament to Canadian manners. Amber takes those famous manners a little bit further, though. Amber ensures that, after all the fans and her community has done for her, that she gives back to them. Every year, Amber picks various charities to either donate resources to or volunteer her time for. Taking it one step further, Amber lends visibility to these charities by spotlighting them on her website. Amber also uses her website to sell merchandise, with a percent of the proceeds being donated to the charities she holds so dear. Amber's desire to do good intersects with her flair for fashion, too. On her online store, she sells shirts, urging people to be kind, be brave, and to stay positive. In addition to these t-shirts Amber has designed, she also has a collection of Western-inspired jewelry that any Heartland aficionado would wear proudly. Amber had no problem getting support from fans and castmates on her pivot into the fashion world. When Amber started her clothing line and jewelry, she just stepped up. It was really inspiring to see her taking the next step on her own. It was awesome, said Graham. Amber's artistic horizons have broadened even more since the release of her fashion line. Having already already published one book entitled Where'd Cow Go? Amber has finished her second book, Where'd Turkey Go? Rather than hiring an illustrator like she did for her first book, in another attempt to give back to her community, Amber organized a competition to find her next illustrator for her up-and-coming book. Maybe the winning illustrator will also be able to do some work on Amber's magazine. Cause yeah, she's created one of those too. And it has almost 20 issues available. That's a lot of reading material. So, from on-screen darling to off-screen rant, Hand, to fashion designer, to philanthropist, these are some of the secrets fans never knew about Amber Marshall.